Welcome to the update commentary for Regoth version 0.4. It's been a while since the last version came out, so there will likely be features and fixes I cannot cover inside this video. However, I wanted to give you some insights about the major changes and features we implemented. The engine can now run without any world loaded, which made implementing the main menu possible. The actual loading has been moved to a worker thread so we can show a smooth loading screen. Characters now use a new animation handler. This handler chooses animations for switching between movement states such as from standing to running, depending on the weapon being held. These animations also define the speed and a part of the direction a character is moving at. If you rather play using not only the keyboard but also the mouse, you can do that now. Mouse controls have been implemented. Ambient sounds and noises triggered by the animations have been implemented, so footstep sounds are working now and the general atmosphere has been improved by a lot. We now have a super handy and pretty looking console. Each command can have a custom autocomplete description. That way, we can easily autocomplete not only by script instance name, as you would in the original, but also by item or NPC name. We can even show multiple columns of information about whatever you would type. Playing as characters other than the hero is now possible. This is similar to pressing the O key in the original. Another very useful testing feature is the new TP command. It allows you to teleport to any NPC currently in the world just by typing their name. It also can teleport one NPC to another NPC. As a fun little extra, we can now completely control the game speed through the console. Now is it. Pathfinding and NPC movement has been vastly improved. Before, they were only moving directly on the way net without any option to go on arbitrary positions outside of it. They also didn't move at the correct speed. This has been updated, so they use the same animation based movement system the player is using now with better pathfinding. NPCs who'd like to follow you will now more likely find the way to your location without any major detours. The virtual machine we wrote to execute the game scripts has been vastly improved. With all those fixes in place and the right console commands here and there, I've been told that you can now complete the whole story of Gothic 1. The quest log screen has been implemented with fully working menuing. Quests and infos will be added and managed just like in the original game.
With proper game session management in place, switching between worlds has become a lot easier. The state of each world you visited will now be stored inside the session and will be saved along with the world you're currently playing in. Additionally, Rigoth now detects whether you're playing Gothic 1 or 2 and stores the save game separately for each game. Using a simple but efficient hack, you are now able to kill NPCs and monsters using your weapon. Note that this is equivalent to executing the kill command in the console, but it's just happening every time you swing your weapon. All ambient NPCs can now be talked to. Due to a caching issue, the script object behind the selectable dialogue lines would only work for one specific NPC in the world. Now the objects are properly assigned and thus all ambient NPCs work. The Android version has been brought up to date and received a few patches. To make it easier for you, it is also able to download and extract a demo of the game automatically. There's no need to mess around with copying files to the right locations anymore. If you want to try the release yourself or contribute to the project, you can follow the link in the description. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.